All right then guys, we are back again for review number two of the night and this one we're checking out. I'm still amazed he's so cheap by the way and his price is dropping. Thomas Lamar. Once again, the card design is sick. The dynamic looks sick. This man center mid with a right mid and a left mid position options, uh, which is awesome if you want to line him up differently in game. But high, high left footed, four star, three star. Now look at the stats. This man looks absolutely phenomenal. The stamina is there if you want to play him as a box to box center mid, which is probably where I re would recommend playing him. The dribbling stats, incredible. Agility, balance, ball control, dribbling itself. Insanely good looking, defensively solid with the interceptions and the, the uh, standing tackles, defensive awareness, making me think maybe you should be playing him as a CDM, but maybe as an uh, attacking CDM, he'll do absolutely fine there. Range of passing should be really consistent. Going forward, should be able to back goals for you, and the pace is also there. He also has the most insane trait possible at the moment, which is outside the foot shot and finesse shot. So we will take that. The card looks sublime. Price-wise, I think it's a W at 190. I'm pretty certain I've just checked and he's already down to 184. So if he keeps on dropping, it's going to get even better. French as well. You know the drill, FIFA and French cards, they just go together. You know, it's just destined to be and fits into my team nicely here, boys. But do drop me a like if you're excited. Let me know which RTTK you want to see next on the channel. Subscribe if you're new on the road to 8K. Let's get into the review. All right, what are we up against? FC Bale rocking the Torino badge. What team do you have, though, Sunshine Lloris? He's there again, man. I can't escape Ronald. I honestly can't. He's everywhere. He's an absolute beast. Ronald's a, a row how, by the way, boys. Um, but we call him Big Ron. Thomas can drive now. Bit of space. I think we're a little bit offside there, aren't we, lads? We are. But still, he feels lively. First impressions with the card, man. He feels pretty quick, pretty responsive. Let's make a few tactical substitutions. We'll keep our Gwendozi on for now. Uh, for the morale, you know, for the morale boost alongside Lamar, and let's destroy this man. Ooh, he's quick. He is really quick. Lamar is in a perfect bit of space. Let's go, boys. Sensational from the lad Simon into uh, Mr. Lamar. The new skill with the new heel to heel, massive liver power, keeps his composure, picks up Marcus Rashford. That is the dream start from the boys. Let's keep it going. Gwendo. Gwendo with absolute unit. Okay, no, maybe not. The pass was a little bit too much for him. Oh, boys, he has some pace. He has some pace on him as well. Breaking that press there. Getting in between my opponent's um, defenders who are stepping up. He's going to be tricky to get hold of, I reckon. Boys, he's gone. Just absolutely went for it. Darting forward. Oof, finish lets him down. Shooting's nothing crazy in all fairness. It's decent. Um, but in all honesty, I do expect a man to be bagging that on his strong foot as well in that situation. But the movement was great. And again, man, look at him breaking through. Trying to get a little dink off there. But he wants to get involved. Bombing forward. Interception. Ronald Araujo is getting bullied here, lads. And again. He loses the ball, he's back on it. I mean, that is massively ambitious, but you never know. Great save from Lafont. Come on up, boys, we can go. Counter attack is on. Marcus. Lamar is going to make that run. Hold up, he's gone, but so is Rashford. I think they're both were on side that could have played in Lamar, but Marcus Rashford. Marcus! Took way too long to dink it. Oh, it's Kyle's gone. Little one. Rashford, Lamar. Tried to get a little fake shot through uh, Ronald's legs there. Didn't quite work out. Get Lamar involved. Boys, I swear Lamar's just played that pass and now he's on the ball again. Just couldn't couldn't quite get the ball roll off in time to get past my man there. This dude loves a lob through ball, by the way, so I'm trying to watch those all, all times. So at the half time whistle, I am impressed by Lamar so far. I like having him high at the pitch because of the interception stat, like he's able to make some interceptions when I decide to press my opponent. He kept his composure, kept his cool and found the right pass to get the assist for our goal as well. Had a chance himself. May probably should have taken it, but still got in the right position. He's always trying to bomb forward, which is fantastic. I like that in my uh, cam. And maybe it's a box-to-box -box CDM or more as like a box-to-box -box center mid in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. 
He's almost the dream for that kind of situation, but I need to see a little bit more to justify the price tag. Watch that through ball. Ooh, that's a ridiculous finish with Dembele, man. Fair play. It's big man Uzi Boozy and he's bagging him. Oh, let's go, lads. Once again, Moses Simon's pace is ridiculous. It's so hard for defenders like Trent to keep up with him. And Lamar, it was not a clinical finish, but I don't care. It's in the back of the net. That's all that matters. The power into the keeper. He's just not going to save it from there, is he? Let's go, boys. We're back in the lead. All right, let's move. Goretzka into Rashford. Back to Goretzka. Lamar in the pocket. Out your feet quickly. Finds the pass to Yedda. We could drive now, boys. We're going to drive all the way. I thought he was going to predict me to cut inside there. Too easy. The passing is phenomenal, but you're not just going to be able to ball roll past Ronald like that. Big Ronald says no and makes the interception. Wait, that's a crazy through ball, lads. Get back, Saliba. William, sit down, Darwin. Let's go. Boys, Lamar once again wanted to get involved. I just can't pick the ball off, but the runs, we're seeing it. It is phenomenal. Supporting the play, kind of overlapping Ben Yedda. Absolute scenes of glorious emotion. Have we been absolutely frauded with that touch? Boys, get rid of these ricochets. Let's go. Thomas. Oh, boys. That is top tier from Rashford. Simon. Lamar. Out your feet and in the back of the net. Bish, bash, bosh. We're going to hit him with it, lads. Hit him with the gritty. Come on now. Goal number two for Lamar. The card keeps impressing me, man. He feels meta for this game. The dribbling's phenomenal. Simon as well with another assist into the man. Dream little duo. I believe that is three goal contributions on his debut. Things you absolutely love to see. And we're not even done yet, lads. We've got another 20 minutes in game. Rashford. Love that. Lamar. He's been tackled, but he still has the ball. And we move now, lads. It's just too easy. It's too easy. That's got to be a rage quit from Balesy. Lamar unbelievable performance two goals and two assists playing in that cam roll he can truly shine lads like picking passes linking up the play going forward and getting goals as well it's a big w a step closer to division three i want to quickly check his uh, his price tag because 190k is what i spent and i'm pretty certain that is a bargain for a card that offers this kind of in-game uh, performance yeah, wow, we're plummeting in coins, boys. Oh, I've already lost 30k on the card, so do drop me a like if you enjoyed this. But Thomas Lamar is sublime. For this price still, man, if he keeps dropping, if he gets closer to 100k, it could honestly be daylight robbery. What I need to do, though, quickly, boys, before we uh, check out of this review, let me quickly search Atletico Madrid and see how they are doing in the Champions League. See, being um, an Arsenal fan, I do like the Champions League football, however... I don't watch too much of it as it stands. Uh, so let's quickly have a little gander at what we are saying. Atletico Madrid. How are we doing? They just lost to Club Bruges. They beat Porto. Uh, and they've lost to Leverkusen. So not looking great so far. Not great at all. They are bottom of their group. One win with two losses. So they need a serious turnaround. But looking at the group on paper, they might be the best team there. Like Leverkusen, Porto and Club Bruges. Club Bruges having a worldie, by the way. They've won their three, uh, all three games so far. So let's hope Atletico Madrid can turn it around and this man can get a solid performance and boost his way up uh, into the upgrades. Because if he gets upgrades, it's going to be sublime, lads. Um, he's going to keep getting better and better and better. Obviously, that's the way upgrades work, I know. But positionally, where should you play him? Anchor Kempstel, box-to-box centre mid, box-to-box CDM or attacking CDM is what I would recommend. As a cam, he was really nice. Found some brilliant bits of space. The passing was sublime. Link up play with Simon and Yedda. And of course, he did bag himself two goals. But finishing may let you down. He's not super clinical, which is a bit of an issue. I would definitely recommend him as that box-to-box -box centre mid or attacking CDM. Maybe even out wide as well, boys. Right attacking mid, cutting in, using the outside of the foot shot, Traveller at top bins. But do let me know what you think of Lamar. Let me know a card you want to see next, boys. I'll be more to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you later.